Lauren has been just simply amazing as a daughter and simply amazing as a, as a sister. She's hardworking, she's determined, and most importantly, I mean, she just has a, a loving heart. I mean, she loves her family, she loves her friends, and she really loves this guy, Adam Simber. <laughs> When, when I was married to my amazing wife, uh, Adam stood in this spot and he said uh, the best way to describe our relationship was brothers. Lauren, you've always been a great sister for us, very caring. Anyone who knows Lauren knows she's very driven. When I'm describing her to my friends who don't know her, I always say that she's just like me, but she's nicer, and she runs marathons, too. That's one of our major differences, actually. Um, so I heard that a good thing to do during a maid of honor speech is to, you know, talk about marriage, give some good marriage advice. Um, so I don't really have the credentials for that. <laughs> so what I did is I called our granny in South Carolina and I asked her for her best marriage advice and she said to me, this is her best marriage advice, y'all. Y'all, you, you gotta learn what you can get away with. <laughs> but, but, you need to know and you need to back down, too. So I think what she was talking about, most of us call compromise. So we, you have to compromise in a marriage is kind of what I gathered from that. It is with now my pleasure to this assembly of family and friends, Mr. and Mrs. Adam Simber. We are so, we are so very thankful to have you as our son-in-law and to marry our daughter today. And we think that you guys are going to have a, a wonderful life and we wish you all the best. <laughs>